Hi everybody, today we're going to be recording or programming drones using Propellerhead Record software version 1.5 or you can also use this tutorial in Reason version 5 or version 4. Um, I'm not too sure about version 3, I haven't used version 3 yet. So, let's go on to record. Run with internet verification. tool window and I'm going to choose a 14-2 mixer as well as the redrum drum machine. Okay. For me the default patch for the device cannot be found. Ah that's fine. We'll close this tool window. So I want to browse for a patch. Let me choose this rock kit, Groove Masters Rock Kit 1. So here we have a 10 piece drum kit that is the Groove Masters Rock Kit 1. Um, I have a bass drum, a few snare drums, I have four of those. I have two toms, and a hat, another hi hat, and a Really loud crash, crashing symbol. So, um, all right, let's start. Let's get started programming these drums, guys. So, first, I'm gonna notice that down here when I hit run, it plays. So the drum machine is now playing. You can see this blinking light going one through sixteen, one through sixteen. Um, if I change this steps number to twenty or something like that. You notice it goes 1 through 16, then it kind of disappears for a second. That's because these edit steps, uh, it has to be on level 2, which is step 17 through 32. So um, if I wanted to have 20, um, I would change it to that. And I can change, I can change the steps all the way up to 64. But we're just going to stick with 1 through 16. I like to start with my bass drum and make for sure that I have my bass drum selected. Let's make it a hard bass drum. Hit it accent. Let's click on one and nine. Hear that? Sounds alright. Right click on bass drum. Copy pattern. Let's go to A2. Go to um, our snare drum. Select our snare drum in column two. Right click, paste pattern. We can play that back. Let's add our snare drum. Let's make it a medium accented snare drum. Put it at five and thirteen. Right. Um. Next, we're going to add hi-hats, so let's keep it playing. We're going to copy, so we're going to be copying and pasting here the bass drum, which was copied and pasted to the snare drum. And now the, if we copy and paste this, it's going to copy and paste both the uh, bass drum and snare drum. I'm going to paste it to the hi-hat and the A3 for this. Right click, paste pattern. Click run to play it. That's what we had before. We'll make this soft and let's change some things here. Let's make it a higher pitch. Make 
shoulder. Notice the difference. Alright. And then for A4, we're gonna go into column 10. Let's change the symbol out. Uh, let's change some to something else. Let's choose one of these samples. Okay, I like that one. Um, click OK. And this is by itself. Notice I did not copy and paste the bass drum with the snare drum and hi hat. Um, we're gonna leave that uh, combined pattern all by itself, and then we're gonna have a single pattern of the ride. So we'll play. Notice I'm not hearing anything, right? Uh, but it is playing. So let's. So we put in a soft ride. Next, what we want to do is we are going to draw these in. Alright, so now that we're going to draw these in, one thing that we need to do is come down here to our sequencer. We're going to right click somewhere over here, like near um, this note lane. We'll right click on the note lane and we'll put, or we'll choose create pattern loop lane. So here's our pattern loop lane. To draw in what we programmed, we're going to use the pencil tool. We're going to use A1 first, which was the bass drum by itself. Next, we're going to change this pattern loop to A2. Right click. Let's set the color to steel blue. Next, we'll go to A3, which was the bass drum, snare, and hi hat. Remember that. And put that all here. Right click. Sky blue. So now you notice what we have so far is we have a bass drum, then the bass with snare, and then the hi hats kick in. Um. Next, let's add this A4, which was the symbol by itself. So we have a little A4 here, a little A4 here, a little A4 here. And we use the selection tool, click on the A4, hold down shift, the other A4, right click, change the color of this to yellow, so my symbols are yellow in A4, and then let's go back to the pencil tool, and we're going to put in, um, let's go with A2 again. So A2, A2, I'm going to select those A2s under the video, hold on control, right click, we need to change that color back, so we steal the A2. So let's play this back. So we have bass drums alone. And bass with snare. snare with the hi-hat, skips forward, symbols, and the bass with the snare, the symbols, alright, you get the point. Um, another thing we can do is we can click on something like, uh, let's move this left and right, left and right boundaries. We're gonna right click on this, well we have to set to, this to A4 during the pattern selection. We're gonna right click on the ride and we're gonna choose um, copy pattern to track. So this is just gonna copy this entire ride pattern to the track between the boundary of the this is left and right boundaries. We right click on that, change the color to yellow. Symbols are always going to be yellow in this. Um, 
Another thing we could do, we can right click here and add another note lane, which you see here comes on top of the other note lane, which is on top of the pattern lane. Um, let's draw in between these left and right boundaries. Let's draw an entire blank segment here. Let's make this bigger. So if we double click inside of here, we notice that we have all of our drums here, our, our 1 through 10 drums. We can click them on the left here, we notice they all play. But what I can do is I can use my pencil tool to draw in some drums, right? Um, Something like this. Let me select these all. Copy. And then I'll paste this same pattern over top of here. Also, we can put in some tongs. We didn't have tongs, right? We didn't program them tongs. So we can kind of draw them in. Uh, do whatever you want, really. There's a snare. Alright. So we click this back to range mode. Uh, let's right click on this and change the color to uh, okay. The stop button a couple times and press play. This is playing everything. Uh, let's move this part of the note lane over here so you can hear how different that's going to sound. So you get the point, right? It's not anything amazing sounding, but it does the trick for a simple tutorial of how to program drums using the Redrum drum computer in Record and Reason. Thanks for watching.